Hey guys, it's Shara here from Woodshop Diaries and today I'm showing how to make this simple continuous grain keepsake box with tile tops. I've been really obsessed lately with trying to incorporate tile and marble into my projects and this time was no exception. I found myself browsing the tile section of the Home Depot a few weeks ago and I brought home a ceramic hexagon tile and a rectangle marble tile and I tried to think of a fun way to use them in a project. So this is what I came up with. If you're ready to see how they came together, let's get to it. To create this project, I needed a board, some scrap quarter inch plywood, painter's tape, wood glue, a miter saw, and these Bosch Daredevil carbide tip drill bits. First, for the board. I created my continuous grain boxes from a piece of walnut that I had lying around in the shop. So the first thing I did was measure the length of the sides of my tiles and added about 10 inches to each, just for some wiggle room. So I cut pieces this length from my walnut board and then just cleaned up the rough edges a little on the table saw. Now I had two boards to create continuous grain boxes, one for each tile. So I wanted the tiles to sit down into a little lip on the top of the boxes so that they wouldn't slide off once they were placed on. I also needed a way to insert a bottom into these boxes. So I installed a dado blade into my table saw to cut a dado to insert a quarter inch plywood bottom and to cut a little lip along the top edge of the board. So I cut these on the less pretty side of the board since this will be the inside of the boxes. Once the dados were cut for the top lip and the bottom insert, it was time to start cutting the pieces for the box. I built two of these boxes, one rectangle and one hexagon. So I'm showing the hexagon in this portion of the video, but the rectangle box was created very similarly. So to create a continuous grain box, basically you're just cutting out pieces from the bottom of a board like shown in this diagram so that it kind of will fold up and the wood grain wraps around the box. Does that make sense? So I needed to set the bevel on my miter saw. For a hexagon, I set it to 30 degrees, but for a rectangle, it should be 45. Then with the top facing up, I cut the end off the board like shown. To determine the size I needed my pieces to be, I placed my tile in the top lip of the board like shown and marked the length of the side on the board. Then I cut at this mark, making sure to cut the right direction so that the end cuts are not parallel to each other. Once I made sure this piece was a good length to allow the towel to fit in the lip, I continued cutting pieces the same size from the board, making sure to keep the dado cuts on the inside of the box pieces. I needed six of these pieces for the hexagon and I marked each one to help me line up the matching grain once I was ready to glue up. Note that when making the rectangle, in order to match up the continuous grain, I had to alternate cutting one short side then one long side like shown in this diagram. Basically, you were cutting a piece for every side, every adjacent side of the tile. So you work your way around the tile, cutting pieces to fit. Once my pieces were cut, I lined them up on my workbench and applied painter's tape to the joints. I dry fit them together to make sure that my tile would fit on top, and I noticed that my tile had quite a bit of wiggle room, so I might have made my pieces a little bit too long, but it still worked. I used the tile as a template to cut the quarter inch plywood bottom, but since I did have some wiggle room, I cut my bottom slightly larger than what I had traced the tile onto so that it would be a little bit tighter fit in the dado. I trimmed this bottom with my miter saw, but a jigsaw would also work fine as well. I 
I applied wood glue to the joints of my box and kind of wrapped it around the plywood piece in the bottom dado. I apologize for my arm basically being in the way the whole time here. I should work on getting some kind of overhead camera holder thingy, I think. Maybe next time. So I taped up the end joint and wiped away excess glue. Then I set the box aside to allow the glue to dry. Once the glue had dried, I removed the tape and gave the box a good sanding before finishing. I used some walrus oil furniture wax to finish both the hexagon and the rectangle boxes and then it was time to add the lids. I added a long pull to the rectangle tile top and a little knob to the hexagon tile. In order to attach these, I used this Bosch Daredevil carbide tip drill bit set. I drilled holes slightly larger than the screws for the hardware so that I could tighten them into the top. These bits are specifically made for drilling through wood, metal, tile, and concrete. So they drilled through this marble tile and the ceramic tile as well, pretty easy. The only issue that I had was getting started, the bit tried to walk, so I just drilled really slowly at first to get a little dimple and then once the dimple was made it was easy to just drill on through. Because the tiles were so thin the screws were a little bit too long so I had to run and grab some washers to put on the underside in order to properly tighten the hardware in place. But once the handles were in place on both the hexagon and the rectangle tiles, they were ready to use. This was a really simple project, but the tile tops add a little bit of unexpected pop to it. They're great for storing little notes, jewelry, keepsakes, or just a general catch-all for on top of your nightstand or your dresser. I actually gave one to my husband to keep all of his random flashlights, pocket knives, etc. so they're not just spread out all over the place. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this little project video and if you aren't already subscribed, I'd love if you'd subscribe so you don't miss out on all the videos and projects coming soon. If you want more information on this project or you want more inspiration for other projects, be sure to check out the links in the description below and until next time friends, happy building.